they missed the call, but not you, chosen one. See, there's two calls from the Lord. The first call is that altar call. He said, come to me, my child. And we reached out, we grabbed the Lord's hand, and we clung on tight. And we said, we ain't never letting go, okay? Because once you experience the love of God, how can you let go of something like that? You can't. Okay, so he brought us out of Egypt, led us into the wilderness. But when we were in the wilderness, we stayed in his presence. We thought about the Lord day and night. We talked to him day and night. We were in prayer day and night, seeking his face until he answered. Then we got that second call. Okay, that call into our purpose. And a lot of these people, they answered the first call. And then God brought them out of Egypt into the wilderness. But see, when they were in the wilderness, see, they grew weary. They got tired. They didn't stay in the presence of the Lord. They weren't talking and praying and reading their scriptures to heal them, to do that healing. So then they went back to Egypt. And miss that second call. So, you know, that's on them. We try to bring them with us, but not everybody is supposed to come with us. See, we try to see the good in these people. But God sees all hearts. And he could see in their heart. And he could see all the things that they were saying and doing behind your back that we couldn't see. Or didn't want to see. So, now... They're going to have to go through it. And you are going to continue to do the Lord's work. Yes, because you're walking in purpose now, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We made it to the promised land. Yes, and it was a promise. And God is not a liar. Mm -hmm. And he can't go back on his word. The land is yours, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Stay encouraged, stay in his presence, and keep pushing. I love you, stay prayed up, and have a blessed night.